Uh, there are many talented musicians in this area. We've seen lots and lots of them, but perhaps none are as dedicated to their calling as the woman you are about to meet in this week's In Search Of Report. Take a look. The Saturday Mass at Sacred Heart in Cashton is underway. And, also with you. and at this service, like nearly every other service for the past several decades, sits a familiar face behind the music. You take away the sins of the world. For 60 plus years, with one shoe off and one shoe on, Alverta Wiedemann has danced her fingers across the keys of many a church organ. That's been my life, most of my life. Alverta actually started her love of music at 10 years old with the accordion, then moved on to the piano. I took piano lessons on a piano. I practiced on a pump organ, old pump organ because I never cared for piano. The organ resonated in her soul like the final chord of an old church classic. After that, I loved the organ. So I worked mowing lawns and in a restaurant and saved my money and I bought that organ here. And I had 10 lessons and from there I took, took off. And it took a little know-how and a lot of practice. These days, Alberta plays for two different churches every week. Then there's choir practice. And when the undertaker has got a funeral, why he calls. And don't even get her started on the number of weddings she's been a part of. When I started playing for weddings, I got a box of chocolate-covered cherries. I was so sick about chocolate-covered cherries, I'd take them home and feed them to my grandmother. <laughs> Because <laughs> she liked them. We worship you, we give you thanks. She knows the standards like the back of her hand. How great thou art, softly and tenderly, open my eyes. And even after all these years, she still turns to her old friend when the hustle and bustle of life starts taking its toll. Sometimes if I am busy and everything and I need just a little relaxation, I go to the organ. Your light in us will shine. Does everyone in church know you? I'm afraid so. <laughs> just about anyway. Yeah. I don't know all of them, but I think they know all of me. It's They had a party for me at the ballpark when I was played 55 years. And I thought if I could make 60, I would do it. Well, here I am. No plans of stopping? No, no, not yet. In Cashton with photographer Kirk Arneson, Jennifer Livingston, News 8. Pretty uh, yeah. amazing gal that she's been doing this. 61 years now she's That's been playing amazing. the organ wow. in church. And she says, unfortunately, playing the organ seems to be kind of a dying art form. They're having more and more trouble finding people that either know how to play the organ or are willing to learn hmm. and transfer their piano yeah. skills over to the right. organ. She says, if you do know how, chances are there's a church by you that is in need of an extra organist. So Alberta says, make your talent known. And I just wanted to let you know, this is one of these great examples of our community, your stories. Mm -hmm. one of Alberta's uh, parishioners in her church called me and let me know about her. So if you know of someone uh, that's uh, just amazing like Alberta, if you've got an idea for my In Search Of, you can always send me an email at jlivingston at wkbt.com or shoot me a, or give me a call here at the station. And uh, I'd love to hear your idea. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.